WhatsApp is one of the most famous communication apps around the globe with more than 2 billion active daily users. Today in this video, I'm going to redesign some part of the user interface of the application and you will see how would be the design process in this journey. My name is Kia and here is the Kimo. Welcome to another episode of the Kimo Lab. When it comes to redesigning a product which is currently available in the market, it's really important to define the scope of the project. Why and what is the reason that we are going to do this redesign? Sometime in the redesign process, we are thinking about bringing and developing new features, uh, which is actually increasing the usability. But on the other hand, sometimes we just uh, improve the features that are currently available in the product. Today in this video I'm going to redesign the user interface of the WhatsApp application in order to bring new look and fresh appearance to this product and also increase and improve the usability slightly actually by restructuring the layout of the uh, pages and also bringing better user experience for the users. So without further ado let's get started. The very first thing that I'm doing in the redesign process is the discovery phase, like the other uh, design projects. In this phase, I'm trying to go through the product and try to extract all the features which are available right now in the product. I do not want to miss any feature that users are happy to use them and try to actually see which feature we can improve in our redesign version. One of the important things that you can do uh, during the uh, redesigning process, especially in the discovery phase, uh, is to conduct some competitor analysis. That means actually you go and see what kind of uh, competitors are al available in the market and try to see what advantage they have and which part they have some disadvantage in compared to your product and avoid the mistakes they did already. So another thing that I considered in my redesign process was to uh, actually redesign the concept of the status section in the WhatsApp application. I think we should stop actually uh, reinventing the wheel and try to learn learn from the user habits and experiences with the other applications like Instagram, uh, Twitter and Facebook. Those applications actually provide this feature for the user that they can actually share their story uh, or the images and so on in the shape of a story on top of the uh, screen. Uh, I wanted to use the same familiar uh, approach here in the WhatsApp instead of having a different separated a section like a status uh, which actually hide the one of the most important part of the application in a bit deeper level of the interaction. As I said before, today I'm going to work in a small scale project, so it's not a real one. Of course, in the discovery phase, you need to actually consider a lot of information and conduct a lot of research to understand what is the real pain point uh, of the users right now in their journey interacting with the product. So the next step for me in this project is going to be uh, the sketches. So I'm starting to sketching my ideas and bringing them in the paper in order to have better understanding of what is in my mind. In this case, I can also show the ideas to someone else and I can also uh, get the feedback in every other stage before I do something more complex and harder. Sometimes I use pen and paper in order to actually do my sketches, but sometimes also after this step, uh, I try to collect the ideas that I prefer more and I try to sketch them in the digital world in a, using Photoshop and my digital pen and tablet. After sketches, it's really good time in order to create our wireframes. As you see in these sketches, we do not care about the quality and cleanness of our design. We just want to bring the ideas from the abstract world of our mind in, onto the paper that uh, everyone in the team or actually uh, ourselves we can see what is in our mind in a better way uh, and try to document them in a computer. But for the wireframes, there is no matter which tools you are using, the goal is the same. We just want to visualize our idea in a cleaner way. So wireframe is going to be the cleaner version and closer version to the final result than our sketches. So after having my sketches, I'm going to create some wireframe. Into this project, I also use the mirror board in order to document my wireframes. And as you can see the result, uh, this is just the visualization that shows the overall structure of the uh, software and application, basically the landing page. 
uh, and it's not really clean and it's not really certain in this stage. After I prepared the wireframes, it's time to actually go one level upper and try to create more clean and actually, let's say, more, more finalized version of the design. I need to mention that this is not going to be the final version of the uh, design that you're going to hand over to the developers, but this is the most closest uh, version in the ideation process that you can show to everyone and uh, actually uh, provide them a good imagination of the final product. So for creating the, let's say, higher fidelity uh, design, I'm using the Figma app, which is one of the most, uh, let's say, user-friendly software for creating the prototypes in the market currently. It have really cool features that uh, uh, help you in order to uh, work in an easier way and collaborate with the designers and try to actually uh, provide and hand over the final design uh, to the uh, developer and the dev team. So as you can see here is the final version of my uh, actually redesigning process. As you can see uh, I tried to bring some uh, uh, let's say advantages that the other similar application had so far into my redesign version. So as you can see in the initial state of the page or the landing page, a uh, user does not need to really see all the messages at the same time. Instead of this approach, I try to uh, locate all the elements in the scene uh, in the place that actually a user can interact with them you know, only with one hand. Another difference between the uh, redesign version and the, uh, the, the older design is uh, the story section. Uh, instead of the status uh, tab. So these are the most important point that you need to consider if you are doing a redesigning process on an available product in the market. The first one is going to be the goal and the purpose that you are conducting this re redesign process. The other point that is really important is that you need to go through all the uh, actually design process from the discovery phase uh, into the ideation uh, and also at the end uh, uh, finalizing the idea and delivery to the dev team and so on. The other point that also we consider in this redesign process and as you can see was uh, to do not repeat the mistakes that the other uh, designers or the other application already did. Uh, so this is a way that you can actually improve your product and compared to the other competitors. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Let's learn together. See you in the next video.